Target, you know Target, the big, big box store. They just can't seem to get out of their own way. They don't learn from themselves and from other companies and the mistakes that have been made. The retail giant saw a, a huge drop in sales over the summer following its push of, you know, Pride Month merchandise, which also targeted children and girls' bathing suits for boys and all that stuff. But uh, now they're at it again. They've actually hired an LGBTQ activist named Eric Thompson, a self-described inclusivity warrior and industry disruptor, and gay Cruella, a gay Cruella, Cruella de Vil. Uh, Thompson says that uh, they're on a mission to flip the script. That's what I'm looking for from Target, no doubt. And proudly displays a pride flag and black power fist on his LinkedIn page, where, where he writes that, that he's honored to be starting a new body of work in a new role Target has built to lead the multicultural merchandising strategy for the LGBTQIA plus guest segment and pride businesses across the company for the, wait for it, LGBTQIA plus and allied communities. That's right, he got LGBTQIA plus twice in one sentence. Which is, uh, which is pretty good stuff. And uh, Target, which did have, they, they had this, this calamity, uh, really of almost Bud Light proportions, when they decided, and they've had uh, Gay Pride Month for 20 years at uh, the company and sold stuff, but last year they decided, hey, let's have girls' bathing suits for four-year-old boys, mm -hmm. and we'll have a funny little pocket, and we'll, we'll pretend that we're edgy and hip. And now they've hired this, uh, you know, crazy Cruella, to, to move the ball forward. Yeah, and, and they have, you know, all the Pride product at the front of the store where when families walk in, it's right there, it's in your face to where a lot of stores had to move it to the back of the store because it was creating so much controversy. I mean, Target, again, you said it, Chris, they've been doing this for a long time. They worship at the altar of Bud Light. They want to go directly down that path. They are <laughs> doubling down on this. Um, they're all in on it, and honestly, I'm not, listen, you can hire whoever you want. I'm usually not too upset, depending on the role they're in. This pride right. strategist nonsense. Again, what is this all about? What is the end goal yeah. here? I don't understand why they do this. And, and for me, as some, you know, a consumer, I've already dismissed Target. We know where they stand. Uh, there's plenty of other places yeah. you can go go to your shopping and, and not support this kind of nonsense. I was just looking for some dry roasted peanuts. And then, you know, well, kind of, it's crazy. Yeah. I tell you what, though, Jane, you're on fire. Worship at the <laughs> altar. But I, that's, I'm stealing that. Oh, <laughs> boy. I oh, oh, love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm good and she's that. a promo queen, too. I, I just want to say one thing. I, I've kept on my boycott with Target. Our kids don't go there. After they hired the satanic designer, I was like, right. we just can't keep going this direction. What about hiring, like, a Christian to do a body of work for a new role for the Christian yeah. communities? Too controversial. Or, come on. Let's be real. This is obviously caused to divide consumers and, and make sure that, and, and basically to make consumers feel that they are not part of the shopping experience. I think it's outrageous. They don't go with the free market. It's all about pushing a political agenda. Well, the free market is telling them that uh, no, no, no. consumers are Free market is not telling them that. Why? Because young, they're young, losing young millions of dollars. Want companies to be inclusive. They, well, they're not being inclusive when it comes to Christians and to those people of faith. I'm sorry. And, and they're this, just this, not. This, this isn't about supporting no, the community. it is this not. This is about exploiting the community. Let's be honest. Mm. That's why they're doing this. And that's, again, we're talking about targeting the kids. That's why Target... That's uh, why they've lost millions yeah. of dollars. I don't Very think that's good. a really good free market strategy. Target? Target? Well, their Target. shareholders, I'm sure, will rebel if that's the case. Uh, and that's that. What do you have written uh, on your paper? Coming up... <laughs>